Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith from Storyville Photography, and today I wanted to talk presets with you. So what are they exactly? Basically, they're just filters that you apply to your photos, guys. Um, pretty easy, right? And that is because it is. They can range drastically from um, like tone adjustments to color grading to smoothing and sharpening, just to name a few. And right now we're going to focus on the Storyville um, presets. So when you buy the Storyville presets from the website, they come in these cute little groups. I have them open because I'm going to be running through all of the presets that we currently have to offer so you can kind of get an idea of what they will do to your photos. Or you can also buy them in a bundle, which will include all the presets in the shop. To load them, all you have to do is click this little icon and import presets. Pretty easy, right? Now keep in mind these are... Um, XMP files, so you must use these on an updated Lightroom or Camera Adobe RAW filter. You can also use these in Photoshop, and after I go through all of the presets in Lightroom, I will also show you how to load them there. So, say you get them into your Lightroom, and they're not all showing. All you have to do is go to the classic um, Lightroom tab at the top. I don't think my camera's gonna let you see it all but so go to the Lightroom Classic and then you want to go to preferences and make sure that the show partial, partially compatible developed presets is checked and you will be good to go and if you're working on the Creative Cloud there will be three little dots here with the same option and you can also import your presets that way so as far as my presets go um, the Storyville presets Sure, you can get lucky and sometimes you'll be able to click it once and be thrilled with your results and not have to make any adjustments. But more times than not, you're going to want to take a little time to make adjustments and really, you know, cater them to your own. If you look at presets, look at them as a recipe. It's my recipe and then you cater it to your taste by playing with all these fun sliders you see over here. So, um, and I also highly recommend, no matter what you do, you pay attention to your exposure and your white balance, because you're going to want to adjust those even if you leave all the other sliders the same. So, without further ado, we're just going to go through these really quick. And also, not all presets are going to look great on all images. You just got to know that. They just won't. So, I would love to say that they're going to be like, mind blowing on every single image but it doesn't work out that way so anyway we're going to start with the black velvet and i'm just going to run through them really quick because i've had questions on what all these packs have to offer and i thought it would just be easier making a video um so here we go then we're going to move on to the blissfully mall Trying to make this quick but effective for y'all. And then the Coco presets. I just love color and kind of pushing the color boundaries, guys, as you will see in these. I just love them so much. And presets look work really well as like a tone base. I love to use them to get started or to finish off a image. Um, but I rarely just use a preset and leave it at is, as is, but you could totally just leave the preset as is. Just not something I do. So, moving on. Oh, we went through the simplicity and then the smoothing and sharpening. Sorry guys, I got kind of caught up talking. The spring green. Timeless pine. Touch of autumn, black and white, vintage jean, and then the water side. You guys are so much fun to play around with, um, even if you don't know which route to go, just start clicking around on the presets and then make your adjustments accordingly, and it's just so much fun. So moving on to Photoshop. Now that we're in Photoshop, I'm going to show you how to use them in the ACR um, filter. 
So the first thing I want to do is make a copy of the background layer, Command J. And then you're going to want to go into your filters, and you also need an upgraded version of Photoshop for this that has the camera raw filter. And these are actually really nice to use in the camera raw filter because you can add a mask in the layers and mask the preset off areas that you don't want. It's actually very, very um, nice because you can't do that in Lightroom. So if you're having like a wonky skin tone moment, you know, there's really not too much you can do other than playing around with the sliders. But here you can just take a soft black brush and wipe the preset off completely. So you see this little icon, icon, sorry guys, and the shortcut is Shift P, or you can just click on that, and then you will see all of the presets in here. And you can do like the same thing you would do in um, Lightroom. So to load the presets, you're just going to want to click on the three little dots there, and um, sorry. And select the import profiles and presets. I apologize, my recorder is not letting me cover um, or show you everything. That's the one downfall about recording on a really big screen. If I were to blow it up and expand the size of my screen, it, it would be very low quality for you guys watching it. So I have to shrink it down a little bit. Um, so yeah, import profiles and presets. And then if they're not showing, uh, just like in the Lightroom, Mine right now says hide partially compatible presets, but you're gonna, that's because I have the show partially compatible presets checked. So if I was to hit that, and then, um, it, see, it would say the show partially compatible. Well, you guys can only see part of it. Sorry if I confused you a little bit. Anyway, you wanna make sure the show partially compatible presets are selected, and if you, if it says the high, the partially compatible presets, you're good to go because that means it is selected and happy, happy. So, okay. So just for an example, I'm going to hit the simplicity one and then you're welcome to go in and make adjustments or not, but I'm going to hit the okay. And then as you see, the preset has gone onto its own layer, which is really awesome. It didn't affect the background layer. And you can play with the opacity, turn it down as much as you want, or leave it completely at 100%. And then if you just didn't want the preset in areas, you just click on the layer and add a layer mask. And then take a soft black brush at 100% opacity and just brush off the areas you don't want. So that about does it. You can find all the presets I used here today at www.storyvillephotography.com. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!